What's up guys? It's JZNES back again with another video. Today we're here to talk about some Sonic 3 and Knuckles uh, all in one package there. Uh, the, the differences between just playing Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 or, or Knuckles, Sonic and Knuckles, I guess as far as I can tell by looking into it a little bit, is that the first set of levels is from Sonic and um and or Sonic 3 sorry and then the next set of levels is from Sonic and Knuckles so there's like exclusive levels to each the only thing about like combining them is that you get all the levels and, and a lot of them you can play as um the different characters there like there's only there's a few of them where they're kind of exclusive to one character as far as I could tell but um Outside of that, you can play as Sonic, or Sonic and Tails, or just Tails, and then Knuckles. So there's four different, like, variants of how you go about it. And I, I tried a little bit of each. Um, I played a lot of the levels with Sonic and Tails, and uh, that's got its advantages because when you're fighting bosses or just, like, enemies or whatever, um, Tails will often, like, just run into the enemy and their weak spot even when you're like far off so you're gonna get some extra hits with tail so that's kind of the easier way to do it um but at the same time i could never figure out if there was a way to control tails i saw the guy do it in the video because there's a boss fight where you're like he's like flying because eggman's like up here so if you drop you just fall and then tails will come pick you up again but i didn't i can never figure out how to control him in order to be able to get closer to Eggman, so I just kind of cheesed it the whole time. Now, the thing I was thinking about was maybe it's like a second player option. So if you have Sonic and Tails, you're not supposed to be able to control both of them. But, like, some guy was doing it in a speedrun, so I have to assume there's a way that you can kind of switch between them and make that work. I don't know. I was playing it on emulation, so I didn't have the physical buttons, but basically every button on the face of the buttons there was jump for me. So it was like all the same thing. So I don't know. I tried like the triggers. I and then I realized the Sega Genesis controller doesn't have triggers. So, okay. Um, that was my start button, you know? So it's like, I. I don't know. I used the D-pad. There wasn't really any way to do that, as far as I could tell. Um, there probably is some way to do that. And everyone's gonna be like, You're an idiot! You don't know! You can just hit this button, plus this button, to do Sonic and Tails, and switch them, and whatever. It's like, yeah, maybe that'd make the game a lot easier. So later on, um, I started just using, like, Tails exclusively. Um... But I did use Sonic and Tails like a few times. Like like I said, it makes it a little bit easier. But I, I do love Tails. He's like my favorite uh, Sonic character. I have a Tails plush up there. I, I should have brought that down for this video. But I'll bring it down for my Sonic Adventure video. Um, and I played a little bit as Knuckles. Um, he has kind of his own paths that he can take and whatever. And that's part of the, re part of the reason you want to play uh, with them combined or whatever. It just adds a few little extra things like that. Uh, you can also get some exclusive uh, stuff in Sonic 2. I, I think pretty much just playing as Knuckles um, in that game. If you have the Sonic and Knuckles cart and you attach them on the top like I've done here. Um, so that's that's nice. Uh, but like, so let's talk about Sonic 3 and Knuckles now or whatever. Let's talk about all... I'm just considering them as like one game because like I played them all together... Uh, I did it on emulation, so that, uh, like, so it was all just in one game or whatnot. Um, so yeah, so we're going to talk about it as one game. Uh, for the most part, I would say that, uh, my biggest complaint was that the level design is just all over the place. It's like, because it's Sonic, you're like zipping every direction and and literally this time it's not like you're just going right the whole time like you did in like the first sonic 
I don't, I don't even remember in Sonic 2 you like going left that many times, like unless you were like gonna circle back right. Um, and you kind of do that in this game, but it can pretty much the levels can pretty much take you anywhere, and you just have to be okay with that. And um, yeah, so it, it gets really confusing sometimes when you're like zipping around where the fuck you are in the level. And a lot of the level design looks very similar, so they use like similar platforms and layouts and stuff, so it makes you think that you're kind of doing the level like a bunch of times and you just fell back to the part you were already on. Uh, and aside from that, there's like some puzzles. Lots of quotes there, they're not really puzzles, but uh, roadblocks, let's say that are just like extremely annoying there's this like rotating block in carnival zone or whatever uh in like the second part that like you have to i still don't even know how it works you have to like jump it'll rotate and then you can like jump up to hit it down so that you can go down it's it's so annoying and it really uh made me not like that stage quite as much i would say like aesthetically the stages all look really nice and like the music's good as as is most sonic games the music's gonna be good so i, I think it definitely stands out in those regards but like overall the the gameplay side of things um is a uh, is a mixed bag because of the level design like the gameplay feels good uh, you know, it still has some of the common complaints from, uh, like, Sonic 1 there, you know. Sometimes you have to just slow way the fuck down and just platform. And it's not always the most precise thing, because you're, like, spinballing it. You're not just jumping. Um, you know. I do like that, like, I think they had this in Sonic 2. I, I don't remember. Uh, you'll, like, charge up your spinball and you'll use that to, like, knock into objects and, like, uh spin switches and stuff. I think that's kind of cool. Um, it wasn't immediately apparent that that's what needed to be done in a lot of areas, but once you figure it out, it's, uh, it's, it's cool, you know, so. Yeah, I think that's good and bad, I guess, in a way. Like, sometimes it was a little confusing. But, um, overall, like, the game is pretty... Like, it's good, but it's kind of a mixed bag at the same time. Like, I know this is, like, one of everyone's favorite Sonic games, but I, I think what it comes down to is that, like, these classic Sonic games just aren't really my jam, you know? Uh, like, I appreciate what they're doing and why people would like them, but uh, they just don't really resonate with me quite as much, I think is what it comes down to. So... Like, I'll say Sonic 1, for sure, is legitimately bad. I'll die on that hill. I think these other two games are good, but they're just not really games in my style. I don't really want to play these games because of how, like, the level design and, and the speed of things is, um... And it's just, like, uh, without emulation and save states and stuff, I would have been, like, just, like, very frustrated by this game. And there is a level select and all that, and I did use that to uh, see every level and, and pretty much beat every level, but another thing is, you know, of course, the Chaos Emerald thing. I didn't do any of that shit, and, like, I, I'm not interested in going and replaying the game and doing all the special stages and all of that and mastering all that. I don't, I don't care. I just want to see the game, you know, but they kind of expect you to do that at the same time to get everything or see everything, so it's kind of a double-edged sword there. That was the same thing that happened in Sonic 2 was, uh, you know, missing content because I didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds or whatever. So, you know, whatever. I don't care. It's not a big deal to me. I'm, I'm not that interested in doing that. But, uh, I guess the game was a little bit beefier because obviously it's kind of like two games in one or whatnot. So, um, definitely there's a lot of content here. I wouldn't say like like 10 hours worth of content or anything but like you know I, I, I beat the thing in a few hours so I mean it's about what you'd expect from like a retro Sega Genesis sort of game um, 
I don't know. It might be the best Sonic. Well, I, I remember Sonic 2 being pretty good, though. I didn't really have that many complaints about that, if I remember correctly. So, maybe that's the best one. I don't know. I, none of them are, like, really amazing to me. Like, whoa, holy shit. They're, they're all pretty much good improvements on Sonic 1. But, like, uh, you know, it's not saying much. Because Sonic 1 isn't that great. So, I... I would say, is it a good game? Yeah, like, yeah, probably. Um, am I gonna like recommend you go out and play it? I mean, if you enjoyed Sonic 2, you'll probably enjoy this game. Uh, I just didn't really care that much for Sonic 2 or this game or Sonic 1. You know, I, I did. I thought they were okay. I thought they were pretty good, but you know, like um, they didn't blow me away or anything. I don't, I'm not on board with the hype. You know. It's kind of like the Batman, like the new one, you know, the, the Robert Pattinson one. Like everyone's losing their minds about it. And like, oh, it's the best Batman. It's like, is it though? Like, it's really not, you know, like, um, similar feelings here is like, they're being held up on this pedestal. And I get it. It's probably very important. They're important games to propel the franchise forward and whatnot. And I can appreciate them from a historical perspective. It's just not... A game that I would go and you know pick up and play a lot of times and really want to master or whatever even though that's kind of the point of the game um, is to do stuff like that so but I'm, I'm not that interested in, in that it, like overall the game is pretty decent but like I'm not gonna hold it up as one of the greatest sort of games ever or anything so um, Really for me, and I know, oh, this is such a, such a fucking 2000, you know, like, 90s kid perspective or whatever. Like, I was born in 92, okay? So, like, don't fucking give me this shit about, oh, this is some 2000s kid shit. It's like, yeah, I did grow up in the 90s and the 2000s, but it's like 92. I'm still a 90s kid, okay? Like, don't, don't fucking tell me I didn't have a childhood because I'm like Sonic 3 or whatever. Or did, that I don't think it's the best one. It's not that I don't like it. I think it's fine. Uh, but, you know, personally to me, I still think that, like, maybe the only good Sonic game, as far as I can think of, like, the, the only, like, really genuinely great Sonic game is Sonic Adventure. And I know. Everyone's like, oh, well, fuck that. Ugh, he's one of those guys. I only like Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure's terrible. No, it's not. It's great. It's fantastic. I still love it. Um, I think it holds up pretty, pretty damn well. And everyone's like, oh, it's just nostalgia. It's like, yeah, well, maybe your Sonic 3 shit and Sonic 2 and Sonic 1, especially Sonic 1, is just nostalgia, you know, as well. All right, we can be nostalgic about things. That's, that's fine. Like, let's get, let's be civil about that. Like, yes, I admit I'm nostalgic about Sonic Adventure, but that's not the thing that makes it a great game. If that was it, it would end there, and it'd be like, well, you know, it doesn't hold up for all of these reasons. And I, I'll admit, there's stages in there I don't like, you know, but these games don't do it for me, I guess, is what it comes down to, in terms of, like, giving me that same itch as, as when I play Sonic Adventure. Um, you know, I don't even like Sonic Adventure 2, and that's generally seen as the better one by, like, most people. And then everyone says it's terrible, too. So I don't understand that, but okay. Um, I don't know. It's just mildly disappointing going back to these games and just being like, yeah, they're pretty good, but like I just don't see all this hype. You know, like everyone loves these games. They just want to fucking... Their mind is blown about this. Also, that's a Pokemon move, by the way. It's a fire-type move. Called Mind Blown. I didn't know until I saw that stupid clown Pokemon, uh, who's an Ultra Beast or whatever, but it's a real thing, and a real Pokemon, unfortunately. Probably the worst Pokemon ever, because he's so dumb. He's very forgettable. Um, anyway, so, like, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like, introduced Knuckles. That's pretty cool. Knuckles is alright. Like, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's like third favorite character in Sonic Adventure, I guess, or whatever. I mean, not like a favorite character. Third, like, best campaign, I guess, I would say, in that game. Maybe. Um, you know, you got Sonic and Tails and 
Man, shit, Tails might be my favorite one, though, because it's flying around and shit, that's all good. There's a lot of good Sonic levels in that game, too, though. Um, I do like uh, all the other ones, really, except for, like, Big the Cat. Like, but it's over so fast, it's like, whatever, who cares. Um, yeah, but we'll get there when we get there. We still have, like, one more game uh, in, in the meantime. Uh, oh, shit. Well, there's, like, that Sonic 3D... Blast or whatever. Does that count as a Sonic? Am I gonna play that? I'm not gonna play that one. I'm just gonna play Sonic CD. I just wanna get the main ones out of the way. I don't think 3D Blast counts. I think people would be more uh, pissed off if I didn't uh, didn't play Sonic CD. So I'll play that one and then we'll get to um, we'll get to uh, Sonic Adventure finally, you know? But uh, that might be a while. I just randomly decided to like start playing this game because uh, I was thinking about Castlevania Bloodlines, which is you know obviously here. Little little uh, hints for some future episodes here. If anybody knows what this is, you know you, that's what I was really working on was that. But like um, I, I remember I was, in, I was thinking about Castlevania for some reason. Um, Somebody's talking about some Dracula game or something, and I'm like, man, I want to get back to Castlevania, or at least beat Bloodlines so that I can uh, get on to Symphony of the Night someday, you know, like, that'd be, that'd be nice. Um, we'll see if that holds up, like, you know, maybe I'll have my flaws with that, like Final Fantasy VII, because everyone always says Final Fantasy VII holds up super well, too, and it's just like... Yeah, in some ways. In other ways, it's really dated, and nobody wants to bring those aspects of it up, you know? It's like... I wonder if Symphony of the Night's gonna hold up, you know? Or if it's gonna be, uh... Another Sonic 3 or 2, you know? In that regard, where it's like... Like... They're good, but it's like... I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm I'm interested to see. Like let's let's fucking go. Like I beat Sonic 3. We got Sonic C D next. As far as I know that's gonna be even more convoluted with like the timeline shit. So like fuck that, I guess. But um We'll see, you know? Maybe it sounded pretty negative or whatever, but it's really just the level design and the, and the gameplay and stuff is, is like the gameplay's fine but like the level design is like all over the place you, you don't you don't feel like you know where you're going you just kind of follow in the path hoping that it's going to take you to the end and sometimes you get lost and sometimes you bounce yourself back and shit it's, it's just a little ridiculous and then uh like the music's good the aesthetic the graphics and all of that are good um really vibrant like colors and, and character designs and shit I, I like all of that that's all really good but you know you can't um like run a franchise on attitude and pa and all of that like you know like oh man we're so badass like look at our graphics except you know that's what the sega genesis was trying to do so in that regard maybe this game's a masterpiece for, for its era or something i don't know like no just kidding but you know like that's uh that's Sonic for you, trying to get by on Flare, uh, I would say. So, yeah, Sonic 3, pretty pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7.2 out of 10. So, yeah, until next time, this has been Jay-Z NES saying keep it classic. Stick around for more reviews and underrated games, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jay-Z.